Oh, that was perfect. Thank you. That's right, we're going to be going into some double serving tactics. It's been requested a number of times, so we're going to finally look at where to serve, where's most useful, some of the real fundamentals of double serving. So stick around to find a couple of tips on some crucial double serves. Okay, so the first serve that we're going to look at is serving super wide, but trying to keep that second bounce close to that white line. So we're trying to drag our opponent over to the wide position on the table. Oh, that was perfect. Thank you. Okay, so that's really going to drag your opponent out wide. The next part to be aware of is the ball that could potentially come back. And that's likely to come back into Tom's position. So whilst Tom is practicing that super wide serve, he then needs to add in that movement out and backwards so that I'm able to step in and cover this space here. So that's the next part. So that serve really opens up the table, leaves part of the table open for a very simple tactic of serving super wide and then getting the next ball even wider. So for me to get that wide serve, I've decided to serve with my backhand. I find that a little bit easier to do in doubles, particularly to get this wide angle here. When I'm serving, I'm just trying to get round the side of the ball to get that more extreme angle. If my bat angle goes too straight, it's going to go straight. So I'm really trying to get round the side of the ball. See if I can get my first bounce somewhere around into this area, second bounce somewhere there, and then it's going to move off. Okay, so here, just round the side of the ball. And what, what pace would you say you'd be using on that, Tom? If I want to get that really wide one, I, I, it's risky to do it really fast because the danger is it's going to get the net or it's going to go off the side. So I'm kind of going at medium pace here, I would say, to get this serve. A medium pace. I, still, I don't want it to be too slow. I don't want to have a little bit of pace in there, but just medium. And then that was swinging that way, so we want that one that way. Now the next variation we're going to look at is serving longer, but almost into the T, yeah, into where this white line crosses here. Now most people are standing in this position to return, or maybe they're even using their backhand. And this part of the table can be quite vulnerable. And if Tom and I are returning, so if I'm returning here and Tom's here and there's a ball coming into the tee and I decide to take that with my forehand, I'm now in Tom's way. So it's a good way of impeding your opponents. So let's take a look at a couple of variations of serving really long and deep into the tee. You've done this before, haven't you? Yeah, these are the serves I use in doubles. Perfect. So what are you focusing on there? How are you, how are you achieving that position? Yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of risk here because you're trying to get it close to the line, so there's always a danger it's going to go the wrong side. But you really want to get it close to the line if you can. Here, because I want to get it deep, I want to get that pace. So this time, as I'm doing my serve, there's just the extra acceleration and a little bit more forwards movement. And if anything, I'm kind of aiming along this part of the table, because I just want it to dip in there. If I try to do it too safe and aim too much on the backhand side, it's going to end up in the middle of the table. So for me, I kind of feel if I can get this line Boom. And then you can find that area there. That little bit of side spin on the backhand serve just makes the ball drift into that area. 
And, and although that's a risky serve because we're trying to play close to the line, that spin actually builds in a bit of safety, doesn't it? Because it's yeah. always traveling towards that yeah. side. So of course, if you misjudge it, it's going to go to the wrong side. But because it's swinging that way, it kind of builds in a little bit of safety. So in the recovery process, of course, Tom needs to move back and out of the way. But as the ball's in the middle and he's serving with his backhand, I'm kind of already in this optimal space to, to take the next ball. So there's not too much to consider when you're serving down the tee. I probably want to stand back a little bit further because I need to be anticipating an attack ball. Um, but other than that, there's not an awful lot for me to, to consider. Okay, another variation into that T position is going to be the pendulum serve. Now, there's a bit more risk involved with this one because now the side spin is going to be headed towards uh, the backhand position, which is obviously going to be a foul if it lands in that side. However, the benefit, once again, is the ball is swinging into the opponent and pushing them more and more uh, into their partner as well, certainly if they're playing with a right-handed player. So there's benefit, but of course there's, there's additional risk. Let's have a look at the pendulum variation. Should we go home now? Yeah, that was perfect, wasn't it? Don't do it again. You'll never do it as good as that. Oh, you have. <laughs> Genius. Okay, so for me here, I'm focusing on keeping the ball as low as possible and I want to aim as close as I possibly can. I'm trying to get a nice thick connection. I don't want a light brush because then the ball's going to move a lot and it's going to be harder to control. So I want a good thick connection whilst moving around the side and it's that that's giving me the pace as well as that little swing uh, on the ball as well. This is something that can be perfected with, with repetition. Uh, it's just perfecting that feel, that position on this side of the table. And yeah, you'll start to build up your confidence um, in that positioning. And even if you're hitting this part here, yeah, somewhere around here, that ball's still going to be swinging into your opponent. So if you're a little bit nervy about getting it too close, it's also fine to kind of pitch it a little bit further over if you need to. So there's two really useful double serves and their positionings that are worth giving a try. Two different extremes, one really short and quite wide, and the other right into that T to really test their movement and to try and tie up your opponents as well. So give them a try and see how you get on. So stick around to... That'll do. Now the next, I've been working with the TT service guy <laughs> for years now. We'll edit that one out. Oh, if I press record. <laughs> 